Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm going to be explaining three very common mistakes that lower rank players uh, talk or commonly make. So the first one we're going to talk about is play to improve uh, and learn, and not for rank or RR. So this is a very common one, especially if you're new to just competitive games in general, and especially if you're a very competitive person. Most people that play competitive are competitive per people because they want to, you know, win games. They want to improve, or uh, you more than likely want to improve. It's just a matter of um, focusing on uh, improving and learning rather than focusing, uh, putting so much emphasis on losing and like losing your rank in RR. Because if you focus on that, it's going to make learning and improving much more difficult. So that is the that's this is a really important one. Uh, people like even an immortal really struggle with this, especially like low immortal. Um, so this isn't necessarily exclusive to low ranks, although it's probably more common in lower ranks. Um, and so ways you can do this is just whenever you die, instead of freaking out and getting angry, just try to think about what you could have done better. Um, you know, obviously you're gonna have times where you still might get a little bit annoyed or upset or whatever, how, whatever your reaction is. But really what you want to do is just kind of ask yourself, okay, what could I have done different here? What could I have done that would have, uh, you know, netted me a different outcome? And that's how you learn. That's how you adapt. And that's how you improve, right? That's, that's, um, it's a core aspect of, uh, learning this game is a core aspect in life. So... Um, next is have a plan and so if you also have a plan make sure to tell your your team your plan pre-round especially if it's like a crazy plan like okay I'm gonna push mid and just run down mid make sure you tell your team that so that if they want to they'll uh, follow you right so like if we want to talk about having a plan it could be you can have any kind of plan like you know your plan could simply be to just boom bot be main and then leave uh, your, your plan can be satchel out uh, onto site and ult you know like, I don't know what you want to do. That was a horrible last uh, pack, but, you know, uh, you get the idea, right? You have a plan, make sure you communicate it to your team. If you don't have a plan, start there. Get a plan first, get used to making plans, and then, once you're comfortable making plans, uh, tell your teammates, because it's really important, it's really crucial to, you know, sort of, like, team play. Just team play is really important, and have, being on the same page as a, as a team, as a unit, it's going to help you guys win many more rounds and ultimately game games overall so um yeah make sure you guys focus on that for sure next and lastly we have don't put up with toxic teammates and make sure to mute them right uh so this doesn't necessarily only apply to toxic teammates because there are more ways to be annoying in a game than just being toxic like i i, I could give you guys a million adjectives for how many types of annoying people there are like you know people that just won't shut up while you play people that complain the whole game people that flame people people that are toxic people that are angry people that are like you know sad depressed like if people would just give off negative vibes overall any like at all i don't put up with them i just instantly mute them um also guys as a caveat if you're in, in the agent select and um someone says something negative toxic you know whatever that's a dodge there's no if ands or buts that's just a dodge you alt that for the game uh restart Valorant and you're gonna have about a 100% chance to not lose that game that you otherwise probably would lose honestly so um, and a dodge is completely worth it like if you guys are scared to dodge because you're gonna get a penalty the penalty is very minimal especially if you don't normally dodge if you're scared to dodge you probably don't dodge very often so I would highly suggest that you dodge um, occasionally like that especially you know if you just if you played a map like three times you get it again you know, don't let that, don't, you know, you might as well just dodge it, like, you know, take, do the dodge, that's a little added bonus on top of this, but otherwise, um, another thing that you can do whenever you have toxic or negative teammates is simply just, uh, say, you can kind of just announce, okay, I muted this guy, you guys should probably mute him too, if you guys want to win the game, and if it's like a toxic duo, your whole team's just yelling at each other, then, and you're already in the game, you can't dodge, um, you can just full mute, and don't let those guys determine, you know, so say all four of your teammates are toxic, don't let your team determine the outcome of the game, let yourself at least have a chance to win or at least try to learn something from the game, right? Like, yes, we can learn that our teammates are horrible uh, or whatever, but let's not sum that up. Let's not sum the whole game up just to just to just, okay, my team sucks. Like you can learn more in a game, even like a 1v5 than, than you might think, right? So try to just change your mentality a little bit. It's really important. It's not only important for this, but it's, it's important for a lot of things. Um, so yeah, this is all three tips. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me running around Ascent because it's my favorite map. Um, but yeah, otherwise I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you guys like the short videos, by the way, because I try to keep them concise here. But anyways, peace, guys.